Hey, what's going on everyone? Jeremy or JLR Games here, and this is JLR on the Air. Now, today we're going to be talking about something good for once. Yeah! Because I recently found out that the judge has granted a restraining order to protect Stan Lee, which is something that I've been waiting to kind of hear since I've heard that he was getting abused and having so many problems throughout, like, his whole life. Within the re recently, about, about a, the recent year, because... This man named Kia Morgan, which they, a bunch of people accused different people and then he, they finally found out it was Kia Morgan who was really doing it. Uh, he was pretty much accused of exploiting, um, uh, Stan Lee for his entire, like, he was u using his money for different things. He was, uh, he was abusing them. He was, uh... He was having, he was pretty much isolating him from his, uh, family, which the reason why I found out anything about this was because of, um, a woman named Carrie Kasem, who is Casey Kasem, the radio DJ on the American Top 40. It's his daughter. And she was talking about how her dad went through the same thing because her, his, Second wife kept them away from, his, like, all his children and even his brother and stuff like that away from him. It just kept everyone away, just isolated him. And she talked about the first sign of elder abuse or anything like that was isolation. If someone's isolating them and you're not allowed to see them, then it would be considered abuse in which this Kia Morgan dude was pretty much doing all that. He was using, he was, uh, he was pretty much stealing money and just using it for his own stuff. And it said that the judge on Friday, I'm reading this from an article. I'll have that in the link in the description. So if you want to check it out for yourself, you can do that. It says that the judge on Friday ordered a, memorabilia dealer to stay away from the comics legend Stan Lee for three years following allegations on fraud, abuse, and embezzlement. Which, they, from what I understood a couple months, or a month or so ago, Stan Lee, they full on just like, didn't grant him any access with this, and from what I understood, because I couldn't really, I didn't really follow this because I'd hear bits and pieces, and it would just kind of, uh, wouldn't match up with anything, because at one point they said it was his daughter doing it, uh, in which it wasn't, his daughter wouldn't do anything that I know of, but the Kia Morgan guy was, uh, has been... He was arrested at one point for making a false police call because of uh, people coming in to check on Stanley and he didn't want anyone to come in do anything like that. But they say that he's not allowed to come in 100 yards of him uh, and can't contact him. And uh, he can't come near his daughter or brother uh, or his Stanley's brother. And they and Kia Morgan, if anyone of you don't know, Kia Morgan's uh was Stanley's business partner at one point. Uh, and I heard of I watched Stanley's Twitter videos because I see him on Twitter all the time. And even though I don't care much for Marvel, like fully, I'm usually I was grew up with DC comics stuff like that. Um. Uh, I love seeing anything with Stan, Stan Lee. I've always loved it. He's a great individual. And 
whenever I see him post on Twitter and doing all these videos and uh, stuff like that, I love to hear that he's doing well and which uh, now he can fully live because they he was kept from going to the Comic Con. They and he said it was his first Comic Con that he uh, was missing. It was a San Diego Comic Con, and it was his first one he's been he's missed in years. Uh, or actually, I think ever, from what I understood. <clears throat> but he's always a great person. I hope all this works out for him. Uh, and I'm glad to hear that he's doing well and that he's getting the protection that he needs. One person that I heard any of this from was Kevin Smith. Because Kevin Smith, who played... Uh, Silent Bob, when the Jay and Silent Bob people, uh, I heard stuff from him about Stan Lee, and he was standing up for him, and which I was glad of him. I love Kevin Smith with everything he does, and I'm so glad that he Stan Lee's got all this support. And when people see him post videos on Twitter, sometimes they have problems and believing that he is posted him on his own until you see some of the heartfelt things that he says and all the funny jokes and stuff in which it makes me happy I love him I'm glad that he's doing well I'm glad that he's getting the support he needs uh, and so forth but yeah I'll have this article linked in the, in the description below so if you want to Check it out, you can. There's a little bit that I didn't... There's a bit that I didn't get, like, fully into this video. But I've been meaning to make this video since around Saturday or Friday. So, hope you all enjoyed. And once again, I'm going to say uh, that I'm glad for Stanley uh, For everything that he's uh, getting with protection-wise. Uh, and hope he lives for as long as he can so hope you all enjoyed this video and i hope to see everyone back in the next one have a good one and in the words of stanley excelsior